Welcome back. In this video we will cover the installation of Informatica Power Center 10.1 client on our data source laptop. Some prerequisites we will need to have downloaded and extracted the Informatica 10.1 client install. And we will also need to know the IP address for our Ubuntu virtual machine that we'll be connecting to where the repository services are hosted. So if we have those, we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and navigate to Windows Explorer. And here we'll see that I have the .zip install uh, downloaded. Now, however, I have already extracted it onto the C drive in the client folder. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that. And typically we just double click the install.bat. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And this is on Windows 10. I kind of want to walk through this as we may encounter this trying to install the client on your data source laptop that is running Windows 10. Currently the 10.1 install is not compatible. So when we go ahead and walk through it, when we, once we click OK, this will go to a point and then it will fail. This is to be expected. Now we do have a workaround. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to navigate to the client folder and we'll see that we have the install.exe file. We'll see that it is C client slash client is the directory. Go ahead and open the command prompt. We're going to run this as the administrator. And we're going to navigate to this folder. So we'll type in CD, C drive, C, then tab for auto populate for client, C, and tab for auto populate as well. Go ahead and enter. So now we're actually in this directory. So we're going to execute the install.exe. We're going to add in the parameter of dash i gui. Hit enter. Now, by doing so, this will get past that error that is encountered during the typical install process of 10.1 on a Windows 10 machine. This issue was not encountered in the previous version of 10.0. And OK, see so we make it past that point. So now we're going to go ahead and walk through the installation. So here we're going to make sure the install is selected, hit Next. Notice that Windows 10 is not part of their supported operating systems. So hit Next. I want to check the top little box. We install both Informatica Developer and the Power Center client. Now, if we just hit click next, this will fail because we actually need to identify the specific drive because it's not called out here. So I'm going to go down and I'm just going to install it in the C drive. Now, on my machine, I currently have it already installed, but what I'm going to do is step through the reinstallation just for the sake of this how to. I'm going to select the 10.1 folder. Hit next. Say so it already exists. I'm going to overwrite, so I'm going to hit continue. Go ahead and click next, and this will get the installation started. All right, the uh, installation is wrapping up. At the top, we will notice that there are errors. Again, this is because we're installing a Windows 10, which is not compatible currently with this client. Let's go ahead and just uh, click done. The screen will last for a little while. Um, once it goes away, um, we'll be able to open up the applications. So from here, since the start folder shortcuts were not actually created, we're going to have to navigate to the software directly. So we're going to go Informatica 10.1, Clients, Power Center Client, the Client folder, Bin, and from here, we'll scroll down and we'll see the developer icon, the repository manager icon, the workflow manager icon, and the workflow monitor icon. And the one I'll be doing is I'll be selecting the, the workflow manager. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up just to make sure the application was installed correctly. All right, so I'm able to open it. 
and it will note that I have a repository connection for 9.6.1, which I cannot connect to it with this client version. I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the taskbar just because it, I don't want to have to navigate back and forth to it each time I want to utilize it. So before we can connect to a repository on our virtual machine where the services are up and running, we will need to update the host's file. So from here, we're going to go to the C drive, the Windows folder. the system32 folder, locate the driver folder, go ahead and click uh, ETC, and we're going to right click and edit the host's file. You'll notice I have a couple connections in here already defined. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the IP address for my virtual machine. Now, if you do not have this, you can open up the VM console and type in ifconfig to obtain it. So for me, it's 192.168.204.129, and the machine name is Ubuntu. Go ahead and try to save it. Now, that you will have to save this in administ as an administrator. So now I have saved it. I'm going to close it. I'm going to open it back up just to make sure that those changes were applied. All right, I can see that my entry is there. So go ahead and close. And now for this to take effect, I will need to restart the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, my machine has restarted. And so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the Informatica services. So I'm gonna log into my virtual machine okay login is DSC password is data all lowercase Login as root with sudo i. Provide my password of data again. And I'm going to execute the Informatica services. So shell slash root slash server slash tomcat slash bin infoservice.sh startup. Go ahead and hit enter. Let's take about 30 seconds for this command to come back. And then once the command has has successfully returned, it may take up to five minutes for the services to become readily available for us to connect to it. So let's we will want to wait a little while. So let's go ahead and uh, configure our domains. Let's add a new one in. Domain is domain underscore DSC. Host gateway is Ubuntu, the machine name that we added as the DSN in the host file, and our port is 6005. Go ahead and click OK, and we'll connect to it. Now, if it does fail, again, it may not be up and running yet, so just give it a couple more attempts to see if you are able to successfully connect. I'm going to select my repository and click OK. Now it's been added in as my repository, so let's go ahead and attempt to log in to the repository. And we'll just log in as administrator. Password is data source 2017 with a capital D. Okay, we're going to note the, the blue bar down in the bottom right hand corner of the window it is working. And we have successfully logged into our repository. So just a quick recap, we have installed the Power Center client on our data source machine. We have configured the host's driver to allow us to connect to the repository, providing the host name of Ubuntu. And we've been able to successfully log in when the services were up and running.
The next how-to is we're going to configure the model repository and the data integration service to allow us to utilize the Informatica developer tool.